Hey guys, it's GameStar76, and today we are going to be looking at a team that I created that, uh, it just has a lot of really, really good things in this series, too. So, um, it's, we kind of have like a gimmicky Arcanine plus Mousehold duo. The idea is Justified makes this thing just do so much damage, and then, um, Citrus Berry will, it'll peel it off afterwards. I'm not actually sure if Citrus Berry will activate. Um, I have not tested this. But hopefully it'll be helpful after it takes a bit of extra damage. And, like, just, justifiable basically means, like, Mouse will use his beat up into the Arcanine. Arcanine just flame charges something, boosts its speed further, then it can just spam E-speeds and Flare Blitzes, and then heal itself up with Morning Sun with, from Murkrow's Sunny Day. Um, because Murkrow does get Sunny Day, and it also gets Rain Dance. So, like, like that can, also, that can just be a really good weather setter, because abilities activate before the, before like moves so you can set the weather with a move and just ignore the abilities so that can just be helpful um and as i said the uh sorry i don't think i said this but in the also choice star it does have technician so it, the idea is just to activate the citrus berry um i have i i the idea is to terrestrialize it into a type that resists it i'm not sure if citrus berry will activate i'm just trying to do my best to get good damage off. The idea is just population. The idea is just to have an offensive set because of choice star. So most of the time you're just gonna be running population. You're gonna be hitting population bomb or beat up because those are the strongest moves. But um, you, you there's no wide lens, so population bomb is less consistent. Um, then we have specs fluttermane with care of flying. The idea is to just use your specs. Just hit really, really hard dazzling gleams and moon blasts, and sometimes, and then use mystical fires onto dull dangos. And because of specs, and because of your natural speed, this does beat dull dangos. Um, and then you also you have terror flying because we do have a dark jump on this team. The idea is for for them to dither after tailwinds up, and to just spam earthquakes and D gleams slash moon blasts. Then we have Murkrow, as I mentioned, standard Murkrow, except for the sunny day, max battle defense, max HP, not really much to say, Murkrow was running random in Series 1, I'm trying to keep it on this team, um, then we have Root Bonnet, which is also trying to take advantage of Tailwind, um, I just maxed out its speed, so it can just use spores under Tailwind and get really good spore coverage, and then just use Rage Powder also to help set, set up Pokemon like our girl Chomp, and then, you know, just suck up on his most combat, uh, then we have Dark Chomp. It's like Ruddy Helmet and Rough Skin. So this actually does do like a good chunk to the opponent when they do damage to you. So if they're like in Sash, they're dead. And if they're like in Tail, if they're in like really low HP, they're dead because it takes a six and an eighth in their HP. And add together, that just does like a good like uh, around a quarter of their health. A little bit lower, but uh, and yeah. So it's max attack, max speed. It just has Earth Bay Protect, Rock Swine, and Sword Stance. Uh, let's get into the battles. Not that team. I have not named this yet. <sighs> what can I say? I have not named it. Uh, okay. This is like... They do have Houndstone, so that can be a bit annoying. I feel like Mousehold can be good here. Of course, this is a time where I wish I had chosen Terra Dark on Arcanine. But, um, I think Arcanine plus Mousehold is a really good weed here. I think Fluttermane does really, really well here. And I need to bring Murkrow for haste support. Because I need to take care of the Jondozo. So, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna bring there. Only oh, Town Flame plus Dr. Yuri. So, if they're making a switch here... I can do this really well. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's, let's see what I can do here. Um, I'm going to flame charge the talent flame, predicting a switch into Don Dozo. I'm just going to beat up the Arcanine. <laughs> it's funny how I say that. I'm just going to beat up the Arcanine. <laughs> muddy Water miss. A double miss on Muddy Water. Oh, wait, the Citrus Berry will not activate on this, so I'll give it a better item. 
I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. I can just E speed and revenge tail, and now I'm gonna switch into a Murkrow. E speed will KO. What does Muddy Water do? Oh, super effective. That does dead a KO here. I'm gonna bring in the Flutter Rain. Okay, yes, 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 yes. I can Shadow Ball the Houndstone. And get Tailwind up. One shot. That's the power of Specs. That's the power of Choice Specs. Boy, I can get Haze off, and then I think I've won this here. Um, I'm just gonna spam Shadow Balls and Haze. I have the mouse hold in the back. It's right now. It's a three v one. I just hopefully they don't have Terra Blast. I'm immune. I'm a fairy type. What? Wait, what? They still did the boost? I'm immune. Wait, what? Is that like a glitch or does that actually happen? Wait. What? Wait, they're going to protect here. They're just going to be stalling. So, um. I'm just sunny day. Activate Protosynthesis. I guess it's the top, Starf Top to Gary. If, if that would outspeed me, I don't think it would. Yeah, that, that, that's a win. This team is really good. It, it just it has a lot of uh, spread out damage. Okay, these things. I uh, Arcanine is good here because uh, because of the the three fire type weaknesses. Oh well, I guess Brubonnet. I guess Bundle isn't weak to it, but so that means I probably need to bring Mousehold for the uh, for the Dimmick. But um, I think because they're gonna try to set up like the snow and the, the ice types, the defense boost. I think I'm going to need to bring in the Murkrow just to try to stop that. And a Fluttermane isn't too good here. So, I think, actually, no, I'm going to bring Fluttermane, I think. Wait, they're bringing in a Bomb Snow plus Bundle, a Bomb Snow plus Bundle. Okay, okay, okay. I am going to... Flame charge the bomb of snow and beat up Arcanine. Hopefully, there's not some sort of switch, but um, yeah, because I know the bundle's sash, so uh, yeah. Wait, oh, ugh. I'm shedding one shot by these water moves. Oh, I'm gonna set up sun so that way I will reveal those down. I think that isn't that how it works. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Does the roar veil wear off? No, it just has to be sun when it's set up. I guess. Okay. Tailwind into Digleam. What? It crit? Okay, yeah. I lost this match. My luck was horrible. That, yeah, that, I'm not going to win with a mouse hold. Although, I do have Tailwind. I guess if I get really lucky... I started this very small bit. That, 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 that's, a, that's a loss. They, they, if they hadn't gotten the critical hit, I had a shot there. I don't know, like, wh why did they have to get a critical hit? Um... This team's, I think this team's stall from the Stella Durge and Annihilate. Of course, they could just be bringing the Stella Durge and then the Annihilate is like star final gambit. So this team's hard to read here. I don't think Arcanine Mousehold is good here, so I'm just going to bring the rest of the Pokemon then. Although just because it's justified doesn't mean it has to be Mousehold. Nah, I think I'm just gonna bring Garchomp and Brute Bonnet in the back. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be spamming D Gleams. Oh, wait, Tailwind. D Gleam. I'm not gonna tear flying yet, because I wanna wait till the Darkjump comes in. I don't wanna 
put my chair out too early in case like it get tailed by something. Maybe it's like a follow me into belly drum. That's actually wait, that's the most likely thing to happen here. Follow me into belly drum and then just aqua jet spam. Well, I well I do have sunny day, so I guess I can prevent aqua jet. No, aqua jet would still tail even with sunny day. That's like a two x attack priority move. Hopefully, I did some good damage off jet. Thirty eight percent, not enough to stop. Oh, <laughs> I thought they were gonna belly drum. <laughs> Yay, day, 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 day. Switch into Darchomp and D Gleam. I did more damage into them than they did to me there. T Wave. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. I mean, Earthquake, Terrifying D Gleam. I'm just tailing it with that. Well, I didn't need the cradle hit there, but it works. Earthquake. That is levitate, so I, I need to make sure I don't get paralyzed. Well, I can't change that. I'm not getting paralyzed. But levitate, uh, that, that's a really good Terra on Hydroiden. I can't really damage it right now. I, I can't really damage it right now. That's, that's very rough for me, actually. <gasps> but they forgot about Brute Mo Well... I think they might have forgotten about Root Bonnet. I'm just going to set up Tailwind. If Fluttermane isn't useful here, so if Fluttermane gets down, it's just a free switch for me. Draco Meteor. I survived that? You're telling me I survived that? Boy, that's hilarious to me, but uh, I'm just going to Brave Bird and, and Deed Wing it. Do I get it? 30% other than a forfeit. Oh, oh, they die from recoil from the life orb. Yes, life orb high dragons are, are everywhere. Actually, once in the actual game, I was playing with a, the mouse hold team that won like a regional. And what happened was I, I, was, I was playing a, a match against like another YouTuber. Um, not playing or anything, just on the ladder. And it was so close that I died from life orb recoil. Um, when I, right after I won. Uh, well, this time left and as a minute to reconnect, so I have more time to think about it. I guess Arcanine goes super well here into the Doldango and into the Baxcalibur. So I think I'm bringing Arcanine Mousehold. I need to bring Murkrow for, in, uh, for against the Dunduzo, and I... I think that Fluttermane can be good here, but just because of Specs, D Gleam does so much damage. But I think Brute Bonnet can really help into the John Dozo because of Spore. But then again, Garchomp can. Nah, Garchomp isn't good here. Wait, Garchomp isn't good here. Um, unless the Doldango fails to get KO'd. Oh, wait, so they re they did reconnect. Um, I'm gonna bring Fluttermane. Volcarona back to Caliber. Oh, I think this might be a lava bloom, lava plume, thermal exchange set. Um, I'm just gonna have to flare blitz them, and then use the beat up strat because I need to. I, I want to KO this back Caliber. I want to destroy this back Caliber. And this isn't too gimmicky. Like, it works unless the Arcanine's KO'd. If they were targeting into their own thing, then I'm good. Well, I don't care about the special attack drop, but, uh, yeah. Um, I'm just gonna e-speed it, um... And then make a switch into Murkrow. Because E Speed does very significant damage. <gasps> yes! I, I love that Muddy Muddy Water has done so much for me. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And if they make a switch to save the Volcarona, then they have a turn of no Dondozo. So, uh. 
Well, I'm not going to haze away my boost. I'm just going to... Oh, wait. I think I can morning sun into sunny day. Yes, they're protecting. They're protecting. Yes! Is that a miss? No way! No way! Muddy water missing has been the most lucky thing for me today. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, just gonna e speed the Volcarona and Tailwind. Oh, wait, let's see what they do here. So, if it is muddy water, not a KO this time. Wait, no Dondozo? I've won. Flare Blitz into Doldango. And then Brave Bird into Top Two Gary. <laughs> That's a Teo. Although I do get Teoed by my own, you know, thing. And the, yeah, Brave Bird just Teos. They, they they don't really have anything to attack at this point. And this is Mouse Hold and Flutter Man against, against it. Um, and just you know a super effective Specs Moon Blast is gonna Teo here. Yeah, also, yeah, that, that, this team wins. This team's so good. When it, like, the Arcanine really, really pulled through for me that match. I thought they were going to bring a Dondozo. Dondozo would have been, like, so much harder to take care of than a Dolango, but I would still have taken care of it. Um, they do have their own Arcanine, but I think that's, like, a bulky Arcanine. So, um, they have two fire types. Um,. I'm thinking here, I think a lot of these things have pretty good physical bulk. Um, it's just that they could take advantage of Sun a bit. And I don't, and Brute Bonnet isn't good here, but I think that Mousehold Arcanine can be good here. And then I think Murkrow is just good for getting Fluttermane and adequate speed control with them Iron Bundle. And then, yeah, I'll just bring in the Fluttermane. Yeah. Still with Iron Bundle, so they are bringing the Iron Bundle. Okay, Booster Energy Cork Dive with speed. That will outspeed the Mouse Hold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to E-Speed to break its Sash and then beat up the Arcanine. Chilling Water does not KO. Chilling Water does not KO. Also, I get the Citrus Berry Recovery. Beat up. Justified. 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 And Torch Song. Well, Torch Song will KO Mouse Hold next turn. East Speed will KO Iron Bundle. And now it's time for a switch into Murkrow. Also, because I invested a lot into Murkrow's special bulk. I don't think that Torch Song is going to be tailing, yeah. Well, I'm not going to be hazing away my boosts, but I'm just going to morning sun into sunny day. Shadow Ball does tail there. I'm going to bring in Fluttermane and just, you know, crush them. Shadow Ball into Tailwind. They don't have Fake Out anymore because they already used Fake Out. Terra Bug? What? I... I so should have. What? what? Terra Bug? Are you serious? What? Why? How? What? Terra Normal Population Bomb into Stellar Dirge. 13, 11, 12, 13, 11, 8. I'm going to tell you because it says skip to end. Yeah. That was. That, well, at least I got two of them. But that. That match. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Terra Bug. What, why Terra Bug? It's like the worst Terra, but it worked perfectly in that situation. Okay, so, Armor's Indeedee, 
Hydreigon, Meowserata, Amoonius, and King Gambit. They're just copying meta strats. This is just all meta strats. Um, Arcanine goes insanely wild here between the um, Meowserata, the Amoonius, and the King Gambit. And then I think Fluttermane does too because of the Hydreigon and King Gambit. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna lead Arcanine and Household Fluttermane. They don't really have a setup strat. So I don't need to bring Murkrow here. Yeah, I don't need to bring Murkrow here. So I just don't think Brew Bonnet is good here either. So I'm just going to bring in Darchomp. Darchomp doesn't need Tailwing to operate. It's just something helpful. Like how Lurantis doesn't really need Trick Room, but but it's very helpful. Like in my for my past videos. And yeah, and go go check that video out in the description. It's one of my best videos, and it has a trick room team that I made that just features so many cool mons that work so well in trick room. So just check that video out down below in the description. Starting timer. <clears throat> Just gonna see what they do. What are they gonna do? Like, maybe they're just thinking over what to bring, like I am. Um... I think that with between the armors and DD and the High Dragon and the um the Miasterata and the King Gambit and the Amoongus. Wait, wait, I think they have Oh yeah, they have a quadruple dark type. They have quadruple dark type. Amoongus is dark, uh King Gambit's dark, Miasterata's dark, and High Dragon's dark. Wait, Amoongus is dark, right? Oh, no, I mean, this is poison. Brute Bonnet is dark. Yes, yes, yes. I saw a feeling they're going to either time out or... Well, well, they can't time out because it's an actual game that's not double zuber, so... I, so they can't time out. They, they do a move that's automated. Or maybe they're just going to choose at the last second or something. Okay, so apparently they timed out because they're going to bring Armors and DD. If High Dragon and Meow Serata are in the back, then they've definitely timed out. And, uh, yeah, um, well, I can't run E, I can't do E speed this match. I I think I'm gonna flare blitz into beat up. Well, I guess let's see what the first moves are. Oh, beat up gets goes into the Ndidi. Oh, that's so annoying. And it's at one percent too. And they one shot the mouse hold. Well, I'm bringing in Fluttermane for the multi target because um, I was gonna switch into Darchomp and D Gleam. No one messes up my Arcanine strat. Also, you are at minus one special defense, so I think um, D Queen might KO between Specs and the lowered special defense and my just incredibly high special attack, too. And between the already life orb damage as well.
Okay. Let's see if they use the same exact moves, because that'll be interesting. But it isn't to a different slot. So I guess they, uh, someone else, I guess someone could be not using it, but it could also just be timeout, since it was the same moves. I wish Dachamp had a healing move. <laughs> Actually, wait, let me check something real quick while they're do making their move. Would Dachamp get a healing move? Just a reading sword stance. Um, does this thing get recover? No. Morning sun? No. Um. No recovery move. Yeah, okay. Swords dance, let's see what they do. They're bringing in high dragon. So, armors is dying, high dragon's probably dying. I'm gonna swords dance into D Dream. D Dream should KO both of them. Also, I just want the dark the high dragon out because levitate has been an issue. Uh Also, High Dragon's 4x weak to Fluttermane's D Gleam, so D Gleam's tailing here. <laughs> Dip O's right to Swords Dance. They're just gonna forfeit here, I'm pretty sure. I have two of my Pokemon. One of them is a 2x special attack, the other one is Specs D Gleam. And it's single target D Gleam now, so, yeah. They don't have to time out the whole time. They could just, you know, choose Neostorada. So anyway, Earthquake, Terrifying D Gleam. There's no doubt there's a KO here. I just really want I just we're gonna have to wait a whole thirty-four seconds or like something. Because they're gonna time out again. <sighs> Uh, you know what? We're just gonna add another game because that's basically that's one. So, uh, we're just gonna start that this new game. Um, ghost, ghost, uh, double fairy typing here. I think Arcanine and Mousehold is really good here. Although there is a dual dose typing, but mouse holes isn't meant to be offensive. Oh, right, let's see what happens here. Super effective sash. Flower trick. I resist. Oh, yes, earth take will do so much less than 1%. Yeah, that. Just leave that. Join this. Um, Arcanine mouse hold. I think Murkrow plus Fluttermane is good here because of Morning Sun. On the Arcanine. Now I'm a bit, bit worried about the um, fake out happening here. But I think just get a flame charge up and get a beat up off. Oh, they're fake outing into the mouse hold. Pear song? Seriously? Well, actually, that's just a kind of turn wasted for them because I'm probably just gonna die before three turns anyway. Oh wait, I should check real quick. Does so wait, Arcanine 
has 317 speed. I think it has 353 speed. Plus, okay, so yeah, the mouse holds still will add speed. So, I'm going to flare blitz hands and beat up the Arcanine. Justified. 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 Flare blitz tails. Take some recoil damage. Get the citrus berry off. They're just gonna switch out at the last second, but again, I'm not trapped. I can switch out here. So, oh, I'm trapped. What? Oh, so it says, I won't be able to cancel a switch. Oh, I can cancel a switch? Oh. Like, why? It's, it's like, all about telling, being, like, that's hard. Wait, well, dual protect, then I perish in two turns anyway. They're going to switch out the stream tail. I'm just going to have to. Um, beat up into that slot. Yeah, I'm just trying to do damage here. Yes, it's switched into Terror Wedge! Oh, super effective. There's like a fourth of its health. Flare Blitz KOs. Yeah, I get it, I'm dying, but like, I still got three other Pokemon with me. Don't think they're coming back from that. <laughs> also, I have a Shadow Ball. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, they still have Strain Tail, so. Anyway. Um,. Tailwind. Actually, at this point, yeah, Tailwind's the best here, actually. I'm honestly just in a shadow ball of a stair wedge here. <gasps> Not a KO! At least Brave Bird's super effective. Maybe I have a shot against the Scream Tail. Although looking back, I should have Terra Fairy de gleamed, but uh not Terra Fairy, uh sorry. I should have just de gleamed. Oh, wait, Brave Bird does tail there. So dual perish song. So we both die, I guess. Um if something happens. So I have an attacking move. Wait, their only moves, th this thing's only moves are moves that are non-damaging. We're perishing next turn, does that mean like a tie? Oh wait, I have more HP, I have more HP. So that means I win. Yes, yes, I won because I had more HP, yes, yes, yes. Also, I would have won there anyway, so I, th the Parish Song didn't matter. Oh, this is the same guy. This is the same team we face again. So that means, again, same strategy, but they're probably going to bring the John Doe's with just time, so. Arcanine, Mouse Hold, Murkrow. The Fluttermane with Specs will KO Doldango with Mistel Fire, so I'm going to bring that. Arcanine, Mouse Hold, Full Corona. Doldango! Okay, okay, okay. Flare Blitz, Doldango, beat up Arcanine. No, seriously? Now the beat up just goes into the Volcarona. Ugh. Vol Doldangos are carrying power gen now. Forgot. Tailwind, and then... Beat up. I guess Joel Dango. I forgot Volcarona were in Rage Powder. I could have handled Joel Dango easily. Power Gem does not snipe there, so. I'm gonna try to. I'm just gonna haze into 
beat up, expecting a switch from Dondo into Dondo. So, wait, they're reconnected. Okay, okay. I'm just, I, yes, it's a switch into Dondo. So, yes, 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 I got haze off. I got haze off. I got haze off. Of course, beat up does very little. I'm gonna keep attacking it until until Marco gets KO'd. What I'm gonna do is Terra flying into Mr. Fire. Now the reason I'm going into Mr. Fire is because. Ah, uh, no, it's not. I mean, it's Shadow Ball. Yes. It's, it'll do less damage into the Don Dozo. But it'll do more damage into the Doldango later on. Of course, now it did lock me into Shadow Ball, even though it didn't get any damage off. You know what? I'm not going to Terra yet. Actually, I'm just going to Terra Flying now, actually. You say, you know, I, I know they can't hit me with order up. If they... Oh! Oh, it's a J.O. Now, Spec Strike Meteor can hit me now. Oh, wait. I forgot about the Volcarona. I'm worried about Starf Draco Meteor happening. No, just Icy Wind. Well, Icy Wind Speed Control isn't that harmful, although it could mean that the digital dango outspeeds me later on. Well, now, I guess, now. Um, <laughs> beat up into Tatsugiri. I think Shadow Ball could, should tail. They're icy winding. I think the digital dango's gonna outspeed here and make it rain and tail the Fluttermane and tail the Mousehold. Yeah, GG's to them. GG's to them. GG's to them. Okay, um... Steel type. Steel type. Uh. I think I know where we're going. I think you guys know where we're going this. Arcanine Mousehold. I think I'm going to bring Murkrow plus Brute Bonnet. I, I, I haven't brought Brute Bonnet at all in this. So I'm just going to try it this time. Oh, wait. I feel like Iron Hands should be a steel type, though. I don't know why it's not, but it should be. Um. And I'm just going to flame charge the Earth Worm and get the beat up strat off. Because there's no instant redirection this time, so. Good. Although Fake Out is a possibility. Oh, yeah, no Fake Out. Justified. 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 J oh, crit. It's a crit. If they're going for sh slow shed tail. Oh! Oh, swords dance, swords dance, swords dance, swords dance, swords dance. I'm gonna outspeed them, so I'm just gonna flare blitz them and switch into Murkrow to eventually get Sunny Day up so that way I can get Morning Sun. Because Morning Sun's better than Recover in Sunny Day. Teo! Oh, I do take really high recoil from that. I'm going to have to morning sun into sunny day. These things are very slow. But Hyper Voice, <gasps> that's just a big chunk, and they're, they they will KO next turn, actually. um, I'm just going to have to E-speed the Fargriaf. And Brave Bird the far great and Brave Bird that I meant you. Oh, Armor Tail. Of course, prevents against priority moves. And play Rough Tail is the Murkrow because it's a dark type. I should not have brought Boob on it because it's max speed. Uh, 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 God. Yeah, Spore. And. Yeah. 
beat up into the mimic you because it's super effective. Ooh, hyper voice. Okay, uh, player off does. Oh, player off tail is the brute bonnet. Breaks disguise. Wait, what? It doesn't attack more? Oh, because I'm the only healthy Pokemon. Of course, it's not healthy, but. <laughs> game doesn't know that. Although it should, but, um. Anyway, yeah, that, that, that's not a win there, but. It's fine. This team's still really good. Um. One bad match doesn't matter. Um. Well, uh. Let's see. This is Trick Room, without a doubt. And I have no idea how to stop it, but I'm not bringing Murkrow to this match. I'm gonna bring Dark Jump. Hands plus Ndidi. Ndidi's going down. Ndidi's going down here. I'm just gonna target the Ndidi, and of course, no extreme speed, but. Oh, fake out. Um, hello, I'm protected by Psychic Terrain. You don't use priority moves in Psychic Terrain. KO. Don't know what they were trying to do there, but get Citrus Berry Recovery off. 3x attack, I'm at 61%. Dot a KO already. Things are looking very good here. <sighs> I'm going to Flare Blitz the Tortle. I know that might be a bit of a risky decision, but um, I'm going to switch into the Fluttermane too. Wait! I feel like I can get Warning Sun off and then make a switch into the Fluttermane. They're not going to be targeting the Mouse Hole because they don't see this as a threat. I hit Warning Sun off. I'm immune to close combat. Ooh, Clear Smog does reset my stat boosts. So that means, you know what that means? Switch into Darchomp. And got a D Green here. D Green super effective on the hands. Oh, this was the entire Rouge. Get a super effective attack off into hands. Stomping Tantrum does really good damage, but next turn I will KO hands. And I'm just gonna Earthquake and I'm just gonna tear flying D Green. So we only have Tortle, Iron Hands, and Arm Rouge. So they did not bring Sylveon and um, the... What's it called? Not the Mimikyu. They, they, they didn't bring the Azumarill. Wide guard. Well played, well played, well played. Well played, well played. Well played, well played so much right now. Huh! <gasps> Not as much well played now, but they can get. They're not wide darting. <laughs> well, if they wide dart, then they're just. Oh. Well, well yeah, now I gotta. I'm just really, uh, they, they don't know how much power Wide Guard has right now. If they, if they play Wide Guard right, uh, I've lost. But hopefully I win. Wide Guard, yeah, that's, <sighs> I have specs. A critical hit, just, you know, seal the deal, of course. Wait, oh. Wait, I just realized I can reactivate the Arcanine strat. I, I can reactivate the Arcanine strat. Of course, of course, of course. And I can just beat up into that slot. They're just gonna think like, oh, what's what's wide dart into eruption or wide dart into something. Justified, justified, justified. Well, well, there's eruption here. Just body press into the mouse hold. But, um... I'm gonna have to e-speed into Tortle. 
and beat up into arm rouge. He speed does really your damage. Wait, I think I'm actually. Oh, weakness policy. Yes, clear small does Teo. I think I can win here. Just got an earthquake and to beat up, and because I have starf. Yes, okay. I was worried that there was gonna like eruption, and uh, that's what the end of thing was. But nope, that was a win, a close win, but a win nonetheless. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy these type of videos, please subscribe and please check out the video in the description. It's a really good video that I made. Thank you.